Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics and for working on semiconductor diodes. In this case, we've got the question paper from August 2018, where we are given a simple question that we are going to focus on, on our revisions. Uh, the first part of our question was to explain uh, the following terms, 3.11, that is donor doping. All right, uh, remember, we've got two types. That is the donor doping and the acceptor doping. All right, so the donor doping is actually a process of generating uh, free electrons. All right, so this is uh, the process. Uh, that is the process of generating, the process of uh, generating uh, free electrons. All right, so this one we are talking about generating free electrons. So they might ask you, they might give you like uh, some of the definitions and uh, they will ask you, is it true or false? So you need to know also uh, your definition so that when they give you an answer, you must be able to tell, is it true or is it false? All right, then we move on to the acceptor doping. Uh, that is the process of generating holes. So this time we are talking about uh, the process, the process um, of generating, that is the process of generating holes in this case. All right, that is acceptor doping. All right, 3.2, list the four characteristics of a Zener diode in this case. What is it that we consider when we are talking about a Zener diode? That is what our question is talking about, is asking us here. So a Zener diode, uh, the first thing that we can uh, talk about, it is a silicon junction diode that is doped uh, to obtain a unique characteristic. All right, it will not break down in the reverse bias condition if it is used within limits of its specification. So each and every diode has got its specifications, like uh, the Zener breakdown, current, and so forth. So as long it is followed, those uh, as long those concepts are being followed, then it, there is no breakdown as long these concepts are being uh, followed. So in any reverse bias that, that we are going to have. All right. It will maintain a steady voltage across the diode in reverse bias condition. It behaves like an ordinary junction diode in the forward bias condition. There is a, con there is a certain question they will ask you to say, uh, in which condition or in which bias does uh, a Zener diode act like an ordinary junction diode? Okay. So this is what we have. So some of these questions, they just want you to play around. If you know the characteristics, then to answer a certain question, it will be easier for you. All right. Anyways, let us quickly rush through our questions. Uh, when a Zener voltage is exceeded, the avalanche point will be, reduced, will be reached. A small reverse current flows in the reverse bias condition before the Zener reference value is reached. And also in the Zener area, a relatively large current flows through the Zener diode, uh, through the diode, that is uh, uh, some of the uh, properties, the characteristics that we might need to know uh, of a Zener diode in this case. All right, so we just needed four. So from these ones, any four, you can use them. All right, then the other part of our question, which is question 3.3, .3, we are used, we are given here to calculate the suitable value of a series resistor. If a 20 milliamp current flows through a Zener diode, all right, so we are given the current flowing through the Zener diode of uh, 20 milliamps, asked to calculate the value of the series resistor that is going to be connected uh, when the Zener voltage is uh, given as uh, 10 volts in this case, connected to a 15 volt DC supply. So this is the input uh, voltage of uh, 15 volts. So if you if you are to check from this question that you are given, we are not given the current across the load. So meaning to say we are pro we assume that to be a zero. We are not given the current across the load. All right. So knowing from our formula that uh, the resistance, uh, the series resistance is equal to the voltage in minus the voltage across the Zener diode over the resistance across, uh, all right, so here we're going to talk about the current, the resistance uh, that we are going to have. In this case, we need to so talk about current across uh, the Zener 
that is uh, i z mean minus the current across the load in this case all right so like i said we do not have the current across the load uh so meaning to say we are going to have this as a zero so the v in that is v dc the voltage across uh our dc the voltage that is connected to the dc supply which is uh 15 so that is going to be 15 minus the voltage across your zener diode which is 10 volts in this case everything over the minimum voltage the minimum current across our zener which is our iz is 20 milliamps that's 20 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 to remove the milliamps minus uh, the current across the load, we are not having the current across the load, so that will be a zero in this case. All right, so if we divide this, we are going to obtain the series resistor that is going to be connected, which is going to give us uh, 250 ohms in this case. So the answer is going to be 250 ohms. All right, so this is how we can attempt these typical questions. All we need is to revise on more questions preparing for ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time but for now that's it from Amazon African Motives till we meet again